Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new uh, tutorials which is the Photoshop and I made the photo this to this. That means that this one is the original image and after that I used uh, the lots of things over here and my I made this one. So how to do that? Uh, I'll show you this process in the step by step. So let's get started. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first going to the file and open up I have stock image from unsplash.com and I downloaded this one uh, I'll provide you the download link for your practice purpose and then press ctrl or command J it will make another copy so here the name of the layer is main and here blur and then edit so uh, I'll edit this one and then everything will be so on at first uh, going to here the selection tool which is the object selection tool or you can and select over here um, the select subject the subject will select automatically and after that you can go to select and mask options from here uh, you can pick up the photo from here and uh, the child photo will select and here hair refining it will help you out to make proper hair refining you can make it zoom by pressing ctrl or command plus and then make the brushes bigger here is options and refining the portion where you want so i'll make it a little bit of zoom make the brush size smaller and just a little bit of area that's good and here uh, you should make this one is smooth and here okay that's good and this portion and this portion so you can make more precisely done so after that here is uh, into there the new layer or layer mask so you can make the layer mask and hit okay so it will make the layer mask that means the child photo will separate and after that select this one press ctrl or command and select in a mask options and after that here is the selection and modify and expand from here you can make this one 60 and hit ok now after that select this blur portion and then going to edit and then fill options from here uh, here is drop down menu and the content ever fill and then hit ok button so it will gone it will take time and it will just remove that like that so that's fine now the area is good and after that turn on this portion and this option that means the blur layer i'll make that tilt shape blur so how to do that uh, going to the filter going to the blur gallery and the tail shift from here i'll make this one a little bit of like this and like this and like this and then making it blur so i should make this one like that okay not too much yeah this blur is good and a little bit of like this okay that's fine and hit the ok button it will take time okay nice and here uh, i have to make the proper brush over there just because of the blurry area uh, keep over there and um, from here i should make the mask over there going to the brush tool and make the brush size bigger okay you can keep the opacity 100% and flow 100% and brush over there this area will solve okay that's good okay nice so done and now selecting all the stuffs that means all the layers right press and convert to smart object and then going to the filter and going to the camera filter so in this camera filter uh, i have some uh, options to edit the color and other stuffs so how to do that here is the basic options i'll make this one a little bit of warm and the 
tint like that and contrast a little bit up and after that highlight i should make a little bit of down shadow should be a little bit of up whites little bit of down blacks like that dehaze like that okay vibrance it should be a little bit of down okay here in a detail options add some sharpening and the noise reduction and col color noise reduction okay that's fine and then color mix up here the hue saturation luminance hue which color will be defined with that saturation uh, percentage of the color and luminance which is the intensity of the color and uh, yellow and orange so here yellow should be like this and green should be like this that's good you can make more if you want okay that's good and the aqua and the orange should be a little bit of like this yeah that's good and the magenta and everything that's good and then calibration here is the calibration which color you want it's like this okay depends on this calibration so the calibration will be like this and the orange yeah so let's see before one and after one and hit okay that's fine and take another layer which is the blank layer and making this one white or you can make this one warm whichever do you want so select once press ctrl or command t here making it bigger so yeah that's fine that means the light is coming from here and uh, just placing on the child photo okay after that selecting these two things making it convert to smart object and now you can go to the uh, another filter or color lookup or whatever so i would suggest you to go to the filter need collection and color effects pro 4 which is really cool features and uh, here the cross processing cross balance whichever do you like so i do personally prefer to use the color or cross processing from here lots of methods over there which one is do prefer you you do prefer and you can use that lots of method so here that's good and that's also good y06 and hit the ok button so it will take time and providing you the final output to get so this one is our final final output so before one was like this and after one you are like this you are getting like this so if i go to or if i embed this one so this one is our photo actually the previous one and after one so now you can do some color correction or color um, photo like a channel mixture if you want here is too much red you can make this one a little bit of like this and a little bit of like this which is really good and like this so before one and after one you're getting the result like this which is really good so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and don't forget to share with your friends until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye